how are you? I forgot your uh, GLKR. Uh, was that was that your uh, your code name there? Uh -huh. um, I'm symbolic. How are you? I really I really enjoyed your video on uh, uh, primary and secondary predicate truths. Um, I wanted to. This is going to be a spontaneous flow of consciousness video. Um, Otherwise, I would probably have to spend about three weeks thinking about this before I made a video to you. But but I wanted to just zip off some ideas. Uh, hope I'm not escaping the hard work. Huh? But I wanted to a hard work of thought. But I wanted to to send a video off to you. Um, I thought your point about um, a statement using the not operator, uh, that statement being true of what I am not rather than true of what I am. Um, I was thinking uh, if I make a classic sounding. Uh, s statement or proposition. Uh, for instance, uh, Socrates dreamed of Athens. Uh, in this case, um, the truth of the statement would appear to invoke the existence of both Socrates and Athens, uh, which I know both existed at one point in time. The problem of time. Let's put aside the problem of time and truth. Um, However, if I change that sentence and I say Socrates dreamed of the number one, then I have to, then I have to, uh, that forces me to admit that the, the truth of the statement, force, and I'm sure you thought of the number one, it must be true, right? Yeah, um, I'm fairly certain of that. Uh, then it must, uh, this would force me to admit the existence of the number one, and then I'm thrust uh, into Platonism. Um, which I'm not too comfortable with, uh, sort of invoking things into being just by, you know, just by making uh, a statement. Um, then we get into, do delusions exist? If I talk about delusions, do they exist? Um, it's, uh, I'm not quite comfortable with it. I have to, I have to put a lot more thought into it. Uh, but I, uh, but thank you so much for the, for that idea. Um, I was thinking about set theory. You know, I haven't read set theory in quite a while. I picked up some books recently, and so I've sort of been re-delving into it. But um, it's forced me to come to grips again with truth tables, um, especially the implication table um, and the curious fact that a false statement implying a true statement is true and a false statement impl implying a false statement is also true. Um, that's been a, a real interesting journey. Um, and in set theory, uh, my understanding is that um, you know breaking things into sets and in, into groups, which is intuitive, seems very intuitive to do, and we do all the time, and is very useful uh, for us all the time. Um, that that was fine until uh, the paradoxes and contradictions started to arise. For instance, uh, Russell's paradox. Um, and that basically what the, the mathematicians did is they came up, but they redefined the terms and uh, came up with, well, what I would call a patch, um, using a computer term, you know, some sort of solution that pragmatically works, but it, it's not, it's not very elegant and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have, provide any sort of deep satisfaction, um, but it works, so, you know, we use it until Hopefully something else comes along. By the way, if you're aware of anything else having come along, please let me know. I, I, would, I would really like to know because these paradoxes really disturb me. Uh, they disturb me because, yeah, okay, so we've patched things up in, in the realm of mathematics, but we haven't been able to patch this up in the realm of the rest of our thought, and we make groups all the time. I mean, it's useful to make co statements such as, you know, uh, all people. All cats, uh, some cats, some people, all citizens, some citizens, um, X, Y, Z. I mean, uh, um, uh, they're just sets and set formation are, is just is just so primary to the way we, we would deal with the world. So in any event, um, I find it highly disturbing that these paradoxes are lurking at the very foundation of our our thought process of, of our reasoning. Um, in any event, one of the patches they came up with, I think Zermelo, a group of people in any event, um, one of the patches they came up with um, is just simply to assume that 
a set exists or to you know basically say well if the set exists then we can do the following things and the set the, by the way we define it the set uh, will not give rise to these paradoxes so once again and this is why your video reminded me of this once again we're in we're invoking existence we're back in the existential realm um, and we're saying okay well if we assume sets exist then we have all these things and we could talk and we have you know all the we can apply all the truth tables and there are no contradictions no paradoxes which throw all of uh, modern mathematics into uh, into uh, into question so so put, putting that together with what you were saying um, I'm right now sort of overwhelmed with the the idea that um, the truth and existence are so intimately tied together, uh, at least in, in our minds. Uh, that's it for now. I, I wanted to get that out there. You know, otherwise I'd wait about three months and think about all this stuff before I sent you a video, but I wanted to send you one right away and uh, say thanks a lot. Let me know what you think. Take care. Bye-bye.